What if I told you the most valuable tech skill isn't about learning a new programming language or designing something new. It's learning how everything connects. Not just how a line of code works, but how that code fits into a data pipeline, which powers a product, which shifts user behavior, which changes business strategy. And this skill is called systems thinking. Now in this video, we are going to explore why systems thinking is quietly becoming one of the most in-demand skills across AI, cybersecurity, software development, and tech in general, and how you can start building it right now. But first, we really need to uncover what exactly do we mean when we say systems thinking? Systems thinking is the ability to understand how different parts of a system interact and how changes in one part can really ripple across the whole system. Now, it comes from systems theory, which started in biology and engineering. But now today, it applies to really everything from traffic optimization to global finance to the design of AI agents. And at its core, it asks a few key questions. What's connected? What causes what? Where are the feedback loops? Instead of solving problems in isolations, systems thinkers ask what happens next if I fix this? That's a very big key to take away. Let's go through an example. In 2020, Facebook's algorithm changed to aim to boost meaningful interaction. The unintended result was more political polarization. That's a system level failure optimizing one node without modeling the network. Let's take a step back and do even a more tangible metaphor. Think of a rainforest. You can't just study the trees. You have to look at weather patterns, soil, insects, and the animals. If you cut one down or cut down one section of forest, it doesn't just reduce trees. It changes the water cycle, temperature, the migration patterns of animals. I mean, the list goes on. Systems thinking is that zoomed out view. Instead of just asking, how do I grow one tree faster? It asks, what happens to the forest if I do? And the same logic applies in software. A developer writing a clever caching solution to speed up part of an app, but maybe they aren't understanding how that interacts with the database, the load balancer, or downstream analytics. It might accidentally cause data staleness, misreporting, or bottlenecks. Systems thinking really isn't about complexity for its own sake. It's about recognizing invisible consequences before they become visible problems. So why now? Why does tech need this skill now? I mean, it's been around for a while, but here's why this matters more than ever in tech. First, AI is a system, not just a model. Deploying AI isn't just about fine tuning a model, it's about understanding the entire life cycle. I mean, where data comes from, how feedback loops impact bias, what incentives drive behavior. Let's go through an example of this. Recommendation algorithms, which can unintentionally spiral into promoting extreme content by simply optimizing for watch time. Second, cybersecurity is now systematic. I mean, the solar winds hack, which was Big in the news exposed vulnerabilities in third party tools that infected thousands of organizations, including US federal agencies. This breach wasn't about one weak password, it was about an entire supply chain. And third, tech climate depends on interconnected decisions. I mean, when you think of decarbonization or decarbonizing, it isn't about building one better battery, it's about building energy grids, storage logistics, manufacturing lifestyles. How do these all work together? And most climate tech pilots that fail don't fail because of bad tech. They fail because systems weren't aligned. We see that really throughout the industry. Let's go through a business case though. From a business angle, systems thinking makes you, well, wildly employable, like extremely. Listen to this. Studies show systems analysis and design is constantly ranked as one of the most valuable tech skills for the next decade. And this is because every product today is cross-functional. I mean, let's say you're a backend engineer at a fintech startup. You optimize your database queries. Okay, that's great. But what happens if that shaves milliseconds off transaction latency? And suddenly users begin exploiting these opportunities that you didn't anticipate. Systems thinking lets you see around corners, explore possible opportunities and challenges. And hiring managers, if you wanna talk about them, they love this. Okay, so we, we've really uncovered what it is, why it's important. How do you build it? 
The good news is you can train this skill without going back to school. Let's go through the steps. Step one, learn to diagram systems. Start with a causal loop diagram, stock and flow models and architecture maps. Step two, study systems in action. What I like to do or think of is reverse engineer how platforms work. For example, how does Uber balance supply and demand in real time? How does Netflix decide which thumbnail you see and why? Step three, build mental models. Adopt thinking tools such as second order consequences, feedback loops, bottlenecks versus constraints. And if you're someone who's looking for a structured course that really suits you, check out programs that focus on systems thinking for impact or system dynamics. Now let's talk about the human impact here, which is the best part, I think. Here's the wild thing. This isn't just a tech skill, it's a human one. Let's go back a few years to the pandemic. Policymakers with system thinking backgrounds fared way better than ones that didn't. They understood how lockdowns affected economic supply chains, education, and mental health. They weren't just thinking about the infection rates. Urban planners use it to design more livable cities. Educators use it to improve learning outcomes by optimizing school ecosystems, not just lesson plans. And yes, of course, engineers use it to build products that actually work in the real world that people enjoy using. I mean, we're really entering a world where building isn't enough and just staying in your siloed role is not enough. You need to build with awareness of the system you're building into. So if you want to stand out in tech or be a futurist, don't just learn how things work. Learn how they work together. That's really what systems thinking is all about. And it might just become your most powerful skill, not only in your day-to-day -day role, but throughout your life. If you're interested in learning more about future tech, where we are headed, what's next, make sure to subscribe, leave in the comments other topics you want me to cover.